Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. For today, I do have four fragrances from Dirty Soul Soap Company. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And right now, we are featuring Dirty Soul Soap Company, and we're going to continue to feature them until we get through the handful of samples that we have. I do have some full sizes here. The, well, not four ounces. They do carry a four ounce fragrance bottle and this is their 2.5 ounce. Now, I just found out because I got my order in that you get the same bottle type, same presentation for your extract to perform versus your uh, fragrance mist. They just label the bottle. This one says extra. This one says uh, perfume mist. So that that's how they differentiate there. Um, this is also an extra to perfume right there. And the samples are perfume mist samples. Okay. So the strength, the intensity of the samples are not um, as intense as you're going to get from the extra, the the stronger uh, fragrance um, option that they have there. <laughs> Very affordable brand. They also have some uh, lotions and body soaps and all that. All phthalate, paraben free, made to order. Um, you know, just great, great offerings that they have from this house. If you are familiar with some Bath and Body Works fragrances that, you know, have been discontinued, you can possibly find them here. The catalog is extensive. Uh, they have indie perfume brands and also some niche fragrances. They are all inspired. They also have some original fragrances, okay? I think, I think we have an original or a couple of originals for today in today's review. We're gonna go ahead and get into some pistachios and some almonds. Uh, so if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So pistachios and almonds we just covered with the brand, if you've been on the channel, Sugar Me Sweet, another amazing indie perfume brand you can find on Etsy. Um, you know, amazing owners and they're really bringing it <laughs> with the with the fragrances, with the way that they make you feel, the gourm if you're a gourmand lover. And they have, you know, not only gourmands, they do have other fragrances, uh, but these are the ones, you know, that really get me talking. <laughs> um, so for today, we're, we're gonna do both pistachio and almonds and I'll link in the description both the pistachio and the almond videos, um, you know, for Sugar Me Sweet because I went a little into depth with different fragrances, not just Sugar Me Sweet. Um, you know, I kind of scent categorized, uh, you know, a lot of fragrances and we, we really got down. <laughs> so I don't want to repeat myself and do that all over again. I want to focus on the Dirty Soul Soap Company's take on these fragrances. Uh, so let's get right into that. We're going to start out with pistachio, whipped pistachio cream. This is right here. Oh, this has uh, toasted. It is such an interesting opening. It has toasted pistachios. It has amaretto cherries, and that is what gets me like, oh, <laughs> I can smell the cherries. It has a roasted almonds and vanilla cream base. So roasted, toasted, if you'll, if you'll kind of hone in on those words. Those are not words that get me excited when it comes to fragrances because then they might be smoky and they might be a little too nutty for me. The opening to this fragrance, I was like, okay, I get delicious sweet cherries, and pistachio mixed together in the opening, really reminiscent of the opening that we get for pistachio fluff from Sugar Me Sweet. And if you were here for that review, my goodness, I mean, yes, <laughs> eyes roll back type, yes, uh, pistachio fluff. Um, that opening is very similar. However, we have amaretto cherries in the whipped pistachio cream and in the pistachio fluff, we have uh, maraschino cherries. And yes, they are a lot sweeter. It's still sweet cherry here in this opening, um, but it's more, it, it mixes in with those, um, you know, the toasted note really quickly. As soon as it starts to dry on skin, I get that toasted almond, those toasted notes just coming through. And that's where it loses my interest personally because I don't, I don't tend to gravitate towards those notes, okay? I don't even like the smell, you know, when hazelnut coffee is brewing, uh, things like that. They just really, ugh, you know, just it's not pleasant to my senses personally. <laughs> but if you're a fan of hazelnut, maple tones, things like that, this does not have a maple tone in it. I'm just saying it could go with that scent category. 
Um, also like your pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works, like your candles and all those nutty, nutty flavors, you know, nutty feels. That's what this is reminding me of when it starts to dry down. Now, when it does fully dry down on skin, I do get a wonderful vanilla mixing in with those nutty tones. So I'm picturing almost like ice cream a little bit, you know, with that vanilla cream and, you know, or maybe just like a, like a pecan, like a pecan, basically. I know it's pistachios and albums, but it's giving me pecan. <laughs> pecan, pecan, however you say it. Um, you know, like those little... Uh, pecan dandies the little cookies and then maybe with some whipped um ice frosting and then peak actual bits of pecan that's what i'm getting <laughs> when it dries down so it's still extremely gourmand very edible smelling just not a, a touch too nutty for me for my personal preferences uh, but if if you like that type of thing then it is a wonderful you know got a wonderful transition beautiful sweet opening but you're not going to hold on to that um you know so for me I, you know i'm out <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be a no from me uh, as far as the enjoyability factor for my personal tastes, okay? Um, so yeah, but as I'm saying, if you enjoy nutty tones, then that, that will be nice for you. Your whipped pistachio cream, and you could combine it with quite a few things. Now, speaking of combining, our next fragrance is pistachio ice cream, and now this one was a go. <laughs> this is a winner right here. We have pistachios almonds and vanilla bean yes i still get a nutty pistachio tone but it is it is not toasted um i don't get a smoky feel from the whipped pistachio cream by the way uh but definitely um a toasty feel this one also it does give me it gives me like a little bit of a toasted pistachio um actually well no it's just nutty <laughs> but not the pecan kind it's so weird i can tolerate you know i can tolerate even peanuts um and the pistachio as well i really really enjoy that that tone and fragrances um but i can't i can't do the pecans i can't do uh toast toasty toasty feels this one super smooth super sweet it reminds me so much of pistachio glory um pistachio glory house of glory's pistachio cake and this one has sweet pistachio pudding added to a buttery cake mix this one does give me a buttery feel i'm sorry not a buttery feel i actually love that it does not give me that <laughs> Oh, this one gives me sweet, sweet pistachio um, pudding and a cake vibe. I don't get a cake vibe from pistachio ice cream. I really do get an ice cream touch to this in that, you know, in, in that dry down. So make it pistachio um, ice cream versus the pistachio cake, but the scent profile really similar. If you have smelled this, it is so similar. Um, now, speaking of similar, from Sugar Me Sweet, we had pistachio cupcake, and it also very much reminded me, oh gosh, yes. I, I mean, it reminded me so, so much of the House of Glory uh, pistachio cake to where I'm like, I don't need to upsize this because we pretty much already have it here, <laughs> okay? I have a body oil of the pistachio cake as well. So yeah, we did not need that one from Sugar Me Sweet because redundancy, however, from the pistachio ice cream here from Dirty Soul Soap Company, not redundant, yay, this is an addition. This is a, a different shade of pistachio. Uh, definitely does have the ice cream. Um, what I like to, to say about this also is that if you were looking for a through and through gourmand fragrance, if you wanted Kaoli to keep the uh, pistachio gelato just straight up ice cream and gourmand smelling and then we're like what there were so many transitions there was a you know really barbershop opening clean opening and then uh you know a kind of soapy feel in the mid going to the dry down of of you know that that red soap at the gas stations things like that that were in here that people were like what is this I loved the transitions in this and I love the dry down. It is pure whipped marshmallow 
gourmand deliciousness to me with a touch of fragrance like you know to where you're not wearing just a straight up gourmand so i do love this fragrance it is one of my favorites from kaoli um but if you were looking for that here and didn't find it pistachio ice cream from dirty soul soap company's got you <laughs> it's i mean yeah it's pistachio ice cream is what it is um now how did i wear it i went ahead and combined it with pistachio cake because the smell is so compatible um, I wore that then with an oil. I did the Sugar Meat Marshmallow um, Body Glow Body Oil. Sugar Works. <laughs> Buy Sugar Works. It's called Sugar Meat Marshmallow and it is divine. And then I topped it off with um, the Marshmallow Fluff by Sugar Me Sweet. Because this one just elevates things and makes it like a candy marshmallow, a candy fluff. Ooh, just so good. Candied marshmallow fluff really is what I get out of this. So sweet, so sugary. Um, sugary sweet marshmallow with the pistachio ice cream, of course, all over. Mm -hmm. This was a glorious day. <laughs> it was just the wafts that I was getting of marshmallow, of pistachio, you know, ice cream. Mm, just so good. Um, and now speaking of ice cream, what would I love to pair the pistachio ice cream with? Oh, I didn't get to do it. There's not enough time. Uh, but I wanted to use this perfume oil from Sugar Me Sweet called Waffle Cone because this one. Ooh, I have to be really careful with waffle cone tones as well. They tend to go to caramel. There's a certain line that caramel crosses for me sometimes. I only like particular ones. This one has a little bit of like a caramel drizzle tone to it. Oh, but it's so good. And it on skin, it smells like ice cream. So this would be perfect for pistachio ice cream. Um, and then I also wouldn't mind throwing in some Latafa Nebras. Oh, one of my favorites. I haven't worn this in so long. Uh, I love it. It's a comfort fragrance. I love to wear Nebras at night. I think it could go with pistachio ice cream really nicely. And this waffle right here, uh, because this to me has like a cool touch. Like there's a little cool, like I get an ice cream sensation from Latafa Nebras. Um, you know, and it's vanilla and it's delicious. <laughs> so good. Um, so yeah, that would be great. Uh, and then Goose Creek has a real nice... Oh, real nice affordable you know get that everywhere mix it in with your waffle cone oil vanilla bean soothing body lotion from goose creek would be really nice as well with the pistachio ice cream i could go on <laughs> i could definitely go on that one is inspiring really really love that uh but we we need to go on because <laughs> we have two more fragrances to cover and next that was nice mouth-wateringly good okay um, next we have, oh, our raspberry almond cake. Another really nice take from this company. Oh, I got a little whiff of this and that and oh, it's just all around what? But it's its own thing. <laughs> this raspberry almond cake. Oh, I mentioned in one of the comments that I think our good friend here on the channel, Miss Alma, would love this because it is a bit, a little bit complex. It's not just straight up. Um, this has sweet butter, rum, orange, gala apple, mixed berries, raspberries, brown sugar, lemongrass, creamy custard, vanilla, sparkling musk, and amaretto. <laughs> and judging by all of those notes, I was like, what are we going to get from this fragrance? Oh, we got pure bliss. This is so nice. Enjoyable. Okay, this one had a nice projection and it's just a fragrance mist. Can you imagine the extra strength? Oh, um, this has this raspberry from Dirty Soul Soap Company is really, really good. It's super reminiscent to the raspberry that Coco Pink uses in their raspberry, uh, you know, scented things. This is Cotton Candy Dreams and this raspberry gives me a little air to the Cotton Candy Dreams of, of, um, Coco Pink. Okay. But not 100. It is not one to one. It is its own thing. It has a little bit of a transition. Um, I do get a hint of that, and I love that about it. Um, the scent bubble is nice. This one lasted all day. Um, six hours on skin, no problem, and then 12 plus on clothes. Um, it has a little bit of a boozy fall touch. I guess from it has both rum and amaretto, and you can detect those 
yes, you can detect on skin, especially when it starts to dry down and waft at you. You're like, oh, okay, I'm getting a little boozy tone. Uh, and, and it is here. So that is really, really nice. For that reason, I really thought our good friend Alma would love this uh, because, you know, I, I can through the comments and getting to know you guys those of you that that definitely join in all the time on the on the on the scent talk um you know i've i've noticed uh, she really likes her some boozy tones some champagne some you know things like that some wine even um so this one would be one we could work with <laughs> my friend this is so good um so how did i wear it well, naturally, <laughs> I have it here. I said, let's go ahead and go with the Cotton Candy Dreams um, Cocoa Mango Body Butter by Cocoa Pink. It's getting a little light. <laughs> I don't like to go in with too much because they are really potent fragrance, like very fragrant, okay? Um, and then I also went with some oil. I love to do lotion and oil, um, you know, out, straight out the shower. Raspberry Dream Cake by Sugar Works. I've been going at this one. This one has been so enjoyable. Oh, definitely. Raspberry Dream Cake <laughs> it went beautifully. Um, and then, of course, I went with my fragrance mist here and it lasted all day. Now, this took me from day to night because I actually got to go somewhere right after um, work and I spritzed on. I was like, okay, do I want to continue smelling edible, delicious? My husband's going to want to take a bite out of me the minute he hugs me. Or do I want to give it a little pizzazz, a little different tone? And I did. I went with a Century More by Louisiana Roma Genre Perfumes. This is inspired by House of Siage's Mini 100, Disney 100. Oh, and oh gosh, yes. <laughs> this one has your uh, sun-ripened raspberry type vibe. You know, really fresh, really... Um, just effortless is what this one gives me, okay? It's actually also really strong. I wasn't expecting it to be this strong, uh, but it is. I really love that. It transitioned nicely with that combo, and, and I truly enjoyed it. Uh, so there's raspberry almond cake, one of the favorites from the bunch, although pistachio ice cream was also amazing. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Last but not least, you guys, let's get into uh, the next one. You could do so much, by the way, with the raspberry almond cake that I'm not going to get into right now. Um, oh, one more thing that actually a uh, good friend Alma also knows about this one, Vineyard in September. Vineyard in September is a fall anthem type note fragrance from... Oh my gosh, this oil. This is so strong. I'm going to have it for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, you know, these little, little drams, they're called drams, go a very long way. I think they're called drams. Um, Nui Cobalt Designs, you guys, they have some gems over there. It's been a while since I kind of perused their site and, and, and got a few samples. But they're so nice to enjoy, to layer with as well. Um, so I think with rasp raspberry almond cake would be so good. This has like a green tea note in it, but it also has some apple. Oh, it goes with La Danza de Leli Bilule by um, Novile 1942. Goes with it so well. Um, but yeah, I, I thought of Vineyard in September straight away with the raspberry almond cake as well. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, we have almond croissant. Almond croissant. <laughs> now this right here was a surprise for me very very surprising okay this was an experience if you are into bready notes if you like your realistic gourmands but like bready there is one that i have never tried because it just doesn't call my attention and it is called creme couture it's a blue bottle i think it's called creme couture and it you know it's pretty pricey and it's not something i don't I don't want to smell of bread. <laughs> um, but, you know, a good old Dirty Soul Soap Company sent us some samples that, you know, they thought we should explore. And that's what we've been doing. <laughs> so, yeah, I would have never ordered this, you guys, because here are the notes. Flaky croissant, almond cream, toasted sliced almonds. So we have two things that don't really appeal to me, which is the flaky croissant and then the toasted sliced almonds. Don't really care for toasted notes. Uh, then we have our powdered sugar, okay? So I was like, hmm, can the almond cream and the powdered sugar get me anywhere? When this opens up, 
it has the most realistic croissant touch. I mean, you are biting into that croissant like that. Yes, this is this is so super gourmand realistic. It's almost unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah, you can just take a huge bite out of it. A um, little too bready realistic for me, but if you enjoy that, then rock it. I really thought I was going to come back, you know, from the living room and wash it off. Like, nope, it's a scrubber for me. And then I was taking Charlie out for a walk, getting these beautiful whiffs of, of like this uh, sweet condensed milk type scent. And I'm like, is that me? Did I spray, you know, um, anything? Because it also kind of was giving me, uh, what was a milky one that I've already tried from, oh, I haven't told you about this, but I totally had to spray Tres Leches cake because that's like one of my favorite desserts. <laughs> I grew up with Tres Leches. Um, so I sprayed it already. It gave me a little whiff of the Tres Leches. Yeah, it did. So a kind of a little bit milky. So the powdered sugar mixed with that almond cream, everything mixed together in the air. Ooh. But then I would go, like that and I would just get bread you know I would get the the sweet the sweet bread sweet almond croissant and then I was just like iffy indifferent you know like gosh the sillage is amazing like I'm really enjoying that um yeah just really nice in the air um but for that you know because of that realistic bread that I don't care for. It's not something, you know, that I would full on enjoy top to bottom. So yeah, I enjoyed the experience though. But you know, I'd rather go for the Tres Leches because I'm gonna enjoy that opening to close. <laughs> and that's just me. That's just my personal preference. Um, but yeah, look no further, you guys, if you are looking for something really realistic, bready feel, okay? And then comes to mind, the the combos that you could do with that so you could do your lactonic beautifulness you could do marshmallow by all means uh, but you know when I think of lactonic tones I think of like your eye matty milk's note I think of this straight away this is such a beautiful beautiful sweet sweet smell oh yes i maddie milk's notes so comforting and then we have our bianco latte that is also very lactonic very comforting um it could go with your almond croissant here by dirty soul soap company um and then if you wanted to make that um and of course i did bring up bianco latte and i'm not sure if i've shown you guys my eclair because why not <laughs> We're on a no buy this year, but we have Eclair uh, because gosh, I just had to. Uh, let me know if you want a comparison or if there's already too many out there flooding YouTube and the market because everybody jumped on this. You guys, mm, I think we could do a Bianco. I've said this before, but we could totally do a Bianco latte video. We have, in fact, we have white latte we haven't reviewed here by Dirty Soul Soap Company. We have the um, Sugar Me Sweet. I believe I got their Bianco latte, did I? Oh, I might not have. Um, who else do we have? We have Andromeda's Moon version. We have the, um, the brand new Caramelo Grande from Lu Louisiana Roma from Genre Perfumes. We have, oh, we have 50 shades of Bianco Latte <laughs> uh, to explore and to just love. This was such a good one. You guys, let me know. We will go through that. Um, and last but not least, I really do think that you could add, um, just a heavy, um, just a heavy vanilla to that almond croissant. You just could. Tehoda by Indult. I've been bringing this one up a couple of times. Oh, I will not lie. I sprayed this on, gosh, not too long ago because uh, I was doing a combo and I was like, Tehoda. And Tehoda just, <laughs> just blew my combo out of the water. It was so heavy. Definitely not a summer fragrance for me. Oh, this was heavy. This was heavy and that's the, that's that Tahota has like an airiness about it like this magical sweet you know powdered sugar feel in the mid musk powdered sugared musk uh sweet sweet fragrance but no that was way heavy in the heat <laughs> let's not do that right now 
but I do love it. Oh, another one that I'm not sure if it would be too much, uh, but you could. it would go with almond croissant. Sugar Kisses by Lorenzo Basaglia. Yes, this, this is another one that's just so sweet. Just cupcake-like and, and, and beautiful. <laughs> oh, so much goodness, you guys. I love gourmand fragrances. I love them. They are, they're so versatile. They're so comforting. They're so delicious. <laughs> um, you know, deep inhales type fragrance days we've been having with Dirty Soul Soap Company. They've been bringing it. <laughs> and speaking of bringing it, you guys, spoiler alert. The next four fragrances we're going to go over, they're all winners. All four of them we are going to need in the collection. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, probably the 2.5s, as I've been saying. However, if you jumped in on the July um, 4th sale from Dirty Soul Soap Company, they were doing Last Chance. I don't know if they still have any available, but they were doing four ounce extra bottles valued at $50 for $14 and you know there are things that they're discontinuing I got a hold of a couple <laughs> before the July no buy I did I was like oh, spun sugar I think spun sugar was one of them I was like we need that we need we need it and then you know a couple of others that just really caught my attention uh some discontinued you know bath and body work scents were in there uh, we still have so much to to go over with this company you guys we're definitely not done um i didn't go over in this video but if you're still here i'll go over it now i don't think i went over they have lotions they have body scrubs as well um you know so they have your your accompanying body care they to your discontinued favorites from bath and body works that's like a, you know a huge chunk of their collection it is based on that and i personally love it you can also request things and you know i am this close because i have not seen autumn drive come back look at this beauty i have not seen autumn drive come back to bath and body works and this has just got to be the best. The way that they did peach berry justice. I mean, I've not even smelled the original peach berry, but I bet they did it justice. <laughs> I think they could really rock this. Um, you know, and I'm enjoying the Dirty Soul Soap Company raspberry tone. So this has wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch, and it is just a dream of a raspberry. This is my daughter's favorite as well. Um, so I just think that maybe we should request. Do you need this? I will send it to you. <laughs> so we can get that forever. Yes. That was it, you guys, for today. Like I said, oh, you guys, we're going to get into these. I'm staring at them. Yes, I am staring at the next four. Oh, they're right. I'm dropping the next four, and they are beautiful. We're going to have, I'm going to wear them again. I've been wearing them. I mean, like, you know, wearing them. Because I'm like, I, mm, this is so good. <laughs> that was it. I'm just here teasing y'all now. We'll see you guys hopefully on Thursday or Saturday. I've got all my days confused as heck. I'm sorry. Y'all have a blessed your day, your night, or your evening. And you stay safe. Bye-bye.